Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and I'm here this morning at Ellis Home and Garden because, girl, we have got another video for you. We are slowly, as product comes in, uh, kind of transitioning into the fall season. I know it's coming, and I know I cannot wait for the weather. I'm literally dead right now. It's so hot. So, <clears throat> the weather but is coming. We do have that cold front that came through. Was that not crazy? Like, last night, guys, I was, it wasn't last night, it was yesterday about 3 o'clock. And I was sitting on the couch and uh, I had the computer out. I was doing some orders and all of a sudden it started thundering. And it, it, out of nowhere, it came like a quick storm, but it did cool things down for a hot second. But today's a new day, so I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm supposed to be in the mid 80s today. Mid 80s, so that's good. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Don. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Marie. And hope you guys and girls are having a fabulous day so far. Hope you had a great week last week. Um, I, I just, uh, the heat is killing us here in Texas. So I hope where you guys live, you're staying cool, you're staying dry if it's rainy. And hopefully you guys get some cooler weather. But I'm going to try and bring some cooler weather to you by using lots of fall decor. Don't forget, every week here at Ellis, they offer an item of the week for you guys. And the item of the week this week is, of course, our friend, the red truck. So this guy is going to be 40 bucks. It's half off. It's online, ellishomeandgarden.com, along with everything that you see today. The link um, for the truck is in the description of the video. So if you guys are having a hard time locating it, you just click on that link in the description. It takes you to it. It's online only, 40 bucks. Uh, hey Mel, how are you? Hey Ramona, hey Maria and Jacqueline and Patricia. Girl, do I got some stories for y'all today. I got one I was telling Dean, I gotta tell you, I told my divas last night, we were all rolling laughing. It wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny now. Hey Stephanie, hey Jacqueline from Austin, how are you? 60 in Ohio. I don't, who is that? I don't, we're not friends anymore. Okay, I'm so jealous. 60 degrees. I told Josh yesterday, I said, I, can, I was watching some show. Actually, it was called Big Little Lies. If y'all hadn't seen it, check it out on HBO. But every night they sit on their patio with a blanket around them and they were drinking wine. And I was like, I would kill to be able to sit on my patio with a blanket around me in a fire pit going, drinking some wine. I'm usually sitting on my patio drenched um, with a water bottle <laughs> and a fan going and I'm still hot. So I would love to do that. Hey, Dorothy, how are you? Laurel, oh my God, I'm going to be there Saturday. So guys, if you're going to be around the Arlington area... I will be at Decorators Warehouse this Saturday, July 27th at 1 o'clock doing a demonstration for them. I cannot wait. So if you guys are going to be in the area, honey, come by and see me. Uh, we're going to have so much fun. Yes, Dawn, that's the story I'm going to tell. Hey, Judy, how are you? Hey, Debbie and Deborah. Okay, guys, before we get to story time, let's go ahead and get started. So, of course, this is the truck. It's got a hole in the back, so we've got to put some styrofoam in here, and that's going to give us a great foundation or base to put all of our florals that we're going to use today. And we're actually going to focus on fall bushes. They're very inexpensive. You can use... Um, multiple types of bushes to get a great outcome or a great arrangement. So that's what we're going to use today. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Oh, somebody just said it was 54 in Indiana. Don't. But speaking of Indiana, if you're from Indiana, give us a thumbs up. Did you know, Dina, there's a town in Indiana called Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. And the whole town is like Christmas town. Mm -hmm. So we've got to make a trip. I told, I looked it up on Travel Channel. Actually, it was like a Christmas in July thing they were having. And I saw something about it, but I, I was kind of asleep and I thought I'd heard it. And then I asked my divas last night and they said yes. I know I'm going to have to move. I can't, though. I love it here in East Texas because in the fall and in, in Christmas time, it's fine. Um, but it's those few summer months, and really, it's not even the hottest point. August is, you know, really the hottest month in the beginning of September. Hey, Patty from Frisco. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add in okay, um, my styrofoam. We're going to put that right in the back of the base of the truck. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some Spanish moss to cover. Um, the foam up. You can use sheet moss if you have that. Just whatever you have. You want to camouflage it the best that you can. Ooh, Anita and Jenny say it's awesome. And Tracy. We got a lot of people who have either visited or lived there. Hey, Robin from Louisville. How are you? So is Walmart full swing school supplies right now? Uh, they already started shopping the back school people. Ooh. Listen, honey. Uh, you know Dina works at Walmart part-time and... You know, I always talk to her about what the crazy thing is going on there. And I know school supply shopping has got to be terrible. Um, and they probably tear up the aisles after you set them and you have to fix them. And then um, tax-free weekend is coming up, so oh, yeah. Oh, honey, you better get some wine. <laughs> tax-free weekend, I cannot imagine. Um, the red trucks are 40 bucks. Hey, Carla from Virginia. They're 40 bucks. The link's in the description. Great time to pick these up, guys, by the way. You know, this can be used for multiple seasons. And you can actually purchase one truck if you want it. And you don't have to glue everything that you put in the back, and you can just, you know, kind of transition it throughout each season. So you could do a fall one, Halloween, Christmas, spring, summer, Easter, uh, whatever it is that you want to add. Hey, Karen. Oh, I know, Stephanie. They're everywhere. It makes me sick. 
When I was in school, I hated school, guys. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, when I was in school, they had that tax test, okay? The devil made that. His, he did. And so, um, I could not pass that thing for the world. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not the best in school. I hate math. I hate listening. I just, it's not my thing. I lose interest very quickly. And I was more interested in, you know, what the girls were wearing next to me. So, um, I was in remedial for years, okay? And I finally passed that tax test. But girl, I slid by by the hair on my chin, honey. When they called my name on graduation, <laughs> y'all, I turned and ran across that stage and jerked it out of their hand. I couldn't even stop for a picture because I was afraid they were going to change their mind. And I thought, I got to take, I got to make it across the stage and have this moment for my mother so she can have a picture and they can revoke my diploma later. But right now, I got to get across the stage. So, honey, I ran just like Forrest Gump straight across that stage, and uh, I never looked back. But with all that to say, I forgot what we were talking about school supplies. So when I was a kid and it came around July and August and we would go to Walmart, just the smell made me nauseous, the school supplies. Because you know they had this smell about them like paper and clean and pencils. Ugh. I did not like any of that stuff. I love school. Mm-mm. Dana, you crazy. Morgan, my sister, she loves school too. And she has an illness. She has an illness. Um, yeah, thanks, Patty. Girl, we're going to remove that trash tag. I forgot about it. Thanks for reminding me. My sister has an illness when it comes to school supplies. Her favorite store is Office Depot, and she literally knows where everything is in there. I came in the other day, I was looking for a planner because I'm booking installs. She says, oh, they're on I 4B, and I was like, do you work here? And she says, no, I love this place. That, that is no joke, y'all. Them planners, it was $25. I almost lost my mind. I was like, what in the world? Let me get on Microsoft Word. Hey, Sandy. Okay, I did not see that. I cannot believe it. Yes, make sure you cut off those trashy tags. I'll give you a coordinary. <clears throat> hey, Debbie. She loves school supplies, too. Oh, <laughs> Mel, she likes to learn new things. Y'all crazy. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. <clears throat> can't do it. Okay, so now that we have that in there, that's the hardest part. So what we're going to do is set her to the side. Hopefully, she don't roll out on the floor. I put her in neutral. And we're going to uh, grab some fall bushes. Now, you can use a variety of whatever you have. This happens to be all I have on hand, so that's what I'm going to use today. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut these apart down here near the bottom. Hey, uh, Laddie. What a cool name. Hey, Eva. So we're going to cut these near the bottom all apart just like that. So what have you guys been watching on TV? Let me tell you about this dumb, okay, dumb movie I watched last night. So on Netflix, listen, their shows are amazing. I watch them all the time. But they have corny movies, especially if they're a Netflix original. So knowing this, um, I had nothing to watch, and they had this show that came up on there. It was a new release. It was called My Secret Obsession. And the killer looked kind of cute, so I was like, okay. Uh, and so I thought, I'll give it a shot. It had Brenda's song in it. You know, she's from Disney Channel. And uh, I was thinking, where have you been, Brenda? And now I know she's been at Netflix. So the show was about My Secret Obsession. It was very lifetime. It was very predictable. But something about it, I guess it was the thriller music, kept me glued to it, and I could not leave that room until that show finished. And of course, you knew the outcome. You knew who the killer was. You knew it was going to happen. Of course, he was going to chain him to the bed. You know, she's going to burn it up, get out of there. But if you guys are looking for a good show, kind of, watch My Secret Obsession on Netflix. It's so good. D, let me tell you what it is or not. Hey, Heidi, how are you? Hey, Denise. Yes, the movie, it doesn't suck, Ansley. It's just... It's just kind of predictable. It's kind of like Lifetime. You know what you're getting into when you sit down and start watching it. Kind of like Hallmark. You know they're going to get married and have a kiss at the end. Speaking of Hallmark, I know it's Christmas in July right now, and they had a, a Leanne Rhymes movie on called It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Dina can't stand her. I love her, y'all. <laughs> you know, um, you know she had an affair on Northern Lights set with Eddie Cibrian. He's pretty cute. But, um, you know, we're not going to judge her for her past. Everybody, you know, does things they regret, and clearly she didn't regret it because she married him. But... It was super cute. It's called It's Christmas Eve, and it's about she moved to this town as a superintendent, and she fell in love with the music teacher. Just so cute. I'm at Tira. It was so cute watching. You need to give it a shot, Dina. Not. Uh, okay. So, let me tell you what Dina's not. So, Josh has been gone, y'all. He's been house-sitting, you know. It's been like a vacation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, please, house sit for three more weeks. Uh, so, he's been gone for a week, and it's literally like a vacation because I don't have to keep things up. You know, hey Josh, if you're watching, I don't have to do anything. So it was like a, a wreck when he was gone. So one night it was like 11 o'clock and I wasn't quite ready to go to bed. I had just cracked open the wine and I went on pay-per-view and I thought, oh my God, what a good idea, Dylan. It's 11 o'clock at night. You're by yourself. Let's watch the new Pet Cemetery. So I rent the new Pet Cemetery and I have not seen the original. 
So I turned it on, y'all. I don't get scared. Like, me and Gina love scary movies, and things that pop out at me does not scare me. It just, you know, it makes me jump, but I don't go to bed thinking that someone's going to come out of the closet and kill me. That movie was creepy. It wasn't scary. It was just creepy. And the things that happened, I was thinking, oh, my God. So I had to pause it a couple times and get up and walk around and check the windows. So let me tell you what happens during this. Are y'all ready? Y'all better sit down and hold your wine because this is crazy. Gina, you're going to die. Okay. So I'm already freaked out because of this movie, okay? I'm there by myself. I literally have got the gun out of the nightstand. It's on It's on the uh, nightstand on top of it. But I'm in the living room. I'm watching TV. Now listen, honey. We have a doggy door. You know, I have two dogs. They go in and out the doggy door. And we have the cat, Salem. You know, I told you. But we've been bonding. I feel like me and Salem were getting closer. Um, key word is we were. Okay, we're not anymore. I can't stand it. So he goes out the doggy door too, you know, in and out. And he's been pottying out in the yard. He hangs out, you know, during the daytime outside. So this movie, I turn it back on, okay? Now it's getting to the, the climax. You know what happens in the climax? Something really is about to happen. The music is really engaged. Okay, I'm sitting there with my... I have a, a, I'm old school, y'all. I love... I live for a TV tray. So I had a TV tray sitting there with my glass of wine with the stem. So it was a glass of wine, my remote, and I was sitting there in the recliner. I had my blanket, and I was watching the TV like this, and the blinds were closed, you know? All of a sudden, and I'm not freaking joking, y'all. All of a sudden, the doggy door flies open, and my soul left my body. The cat drug in a live locust, and it flew in. Y'all know how loud those are? It flew in, and it came and hit me in the chest, and it felt like somebody hit a rock. I screamed so loud, and I was cussing, and I, I knocked the TV tray over. The wine broke everywhere. I jumped up out of the recliner. The blanket flew this way. And the whole time this locust is attacking me, the cat runs, and he's trying to get the locust, and I'm screaming like, ah! And so I'm running through the house now. The locust is buzzing, and I don't know what to do. And I'm like, holy crap! And I was screaming, and I, I mean, I had no shoes on, and I was out of paper towel. So I thought, what am I going to do to grab this locust? Because... I'm in a hurry, you know, I'm going to panic, and the movie was still playing, so I could hear the background music, and somebody was dying on the TV, the locust was chasing me around the living room, and so I thought, I have no freaking paper towels, what am I going to do? Let me get some toilet paper, but I'm not using toilet paper because it's so thin, I might be able to feel that thing. So what I do, I was barefoot, y'all had to run and get me a kitchen cup towel out of the drawer, and I, I folded it where it's real thick, and I, had, I was running around the house, that cat was still chasing it. Then the cat got it in its mouth, and he's sitting there looking at me like this, and that thing is buzzing, and you know how loud they are, y'all. And so I went and grabbed the cup towel and I jerked the whole cat up and I threw the cat and I grabbed that thing and I, I smashed it on the ground with my foot. And I was so scared I left it in that towel on the floor all night because I thought if I pick up this towel, it's not going to be dead and it's going to flutter out of here. And it, I've never had something so scary happen, y'all. Literally, I about freaking died. I cannot make this up. I don't even need a gun. I need some raid. And Was it a locust or a cicada? No, it was a locust. Like It was this big though. And you hear them outside in the trees how loud they are. Imagine that thing coming and hitting you in the chest. Of all places it could go, it went straight to me. So then after all of this, I had to get on the floor. I had to pick up the wine. I had to pick up the glass. The whole time, the Stella is running all over the house, and I'm thinking, she's going to get glass in her foot, but I can't, I can't handle her right now. I've got to handle um, this bug in my house. So me and the cat are no longer friends. That just tells you the devil is alive, honey. He tried to get me that night. And so I locked the cat up. Mm -hmm. Playtime's over. I locked the cat up. And every night now, when I'm by myself and I have no backup, I put that doggy door down. And if you pee on the floor, you're out too, you know? So I told Salem, your playtime is over. You have ruined it. I guess it's better than having a rat come in. Uh, but I can't. I just cannot do bugs. Listen, everybody has their phobia. Some people are scared of roller coasters. Some people, Terry, you have no idea. Some people are scared of um, spiders. Some people are scared of heights. I'm just scared of bugs. I cannot do bugs. Give me a June bug, I'm going to die, you know? Give my I'm more scared though of a, a cockroach. I've had like a fear of those forever. And I went to this show one time. It was actually a Noel McCoy concert, and they had a uh, hey Neil. They had a um, this guy cub, Jack Hanna. You know who that is. Mm -hmm. And he did like this little setup, you know. And he brought out one of those hissing cockroaches. I literally got it from my chair, and I had to go take a bath and break because I just knew that thing was going to get up and fly, and it was going to fly right over to my seat at 34B. <laughs> and I just knew I was not going to make it. Tini mm -mm. says bugs and cheddars. Mm -mm. So anyway, guys, that's what happened to me when Josh was on vacation, when he was gone house-sitting. So <clears throat> my night ended shortly. 
Um, but I did finish the movie, and needless to say, the movie was really creepy. So it kind of reminded me of Skeleton Key in a way. So if you guys have not seen it, I definitely recommend that you check it out. I love Skeleton Key. Yes, Ellen. Where there is one roach, there is the whole family. You know, when you see the baby in the house, you're like, let me call the exterminator because the mama's around here somewhere. <sighs> I'm exhausted now. I'm hot, guys, thinking about that story again. It's getting Same me off. snakes. It's there's a baby, there's here. a mama. But here's my thing about snakes, guys. Snakes don't scare me if I see them. Like, if it's over there on the floor, I'm not going to run out of here screaming. If there's a roach over there on the floor, I'm out. But I'm not that way about snakes. And I feel like a snake could be even in the yard. And I'm not going to run and freak over that unless it just came up on me like if it was in the chair. Are you like that with snakes or are you, are you okay if you see them over there? I'm okay if I see them. It's if I happen to come up on them? Mm -hmm. No. And I'm not really scared of spiders either. Like if I see one, I go step on it. You know? I but don't, mm -mm. Girl, you get a roach up in there, I'm done. Let me tell you a story. Can we talk? Speaking of bugs. Um, this is like an episode of Bugs Life. We, um, my mom used to live in this house. And every night about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, the sprinkler system would go off. And there's this long sidewalk that went from the street right here straight to the door. There's grass on each side. Now, Josh used to come over back when we, back when he still liked me, you know, and we didn't live together. He would come over and visit and talk and stuff like that. So every night I'd try and walk him out to his car. <laughs> that stopped about June because, um, <laughs> y'all, that's when the frogs came out. And the sprinkler system would be on, which I guess attract the, attract the frogs. And so what I would do is we would go out, then we went out to a restaurant, we came home about 9 o'clock, and sprinklers had just went off, hey Jana, how are you? I would take off running from the street to the door, through the sidewalk, because there would be those frogs jumping all over the sidewalk. I ain't here for it. I ain't here for it. So we quit visiting about June. So we had a, a month hiatus. <laughs> and I told him, I said, I'll meet you at the back door. You know, I ain't coming outside. And we have to leave, you know, before it gets dark and return before it gets dark because those little devils will come out and get you. I can't do it. Oh, yeah, honeymoon is over, you know. Mm -mm. That, that ended a couple years ago. Hey, Janet, how are you? Oh, yeah, I want to hear about my mom. We'll get to this in just a sec. By the way, guys, if you're watching, my name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan. We are here at Ellis Home and Garden this morning, having a fabulous time. We're doing a fall truck. We're gonna get to her in just a minute. She's in park. <laughs> so as soon as we get to her, we will. If you're interested in purchasing one of the trucks, guys, they're on sale for $40. Um, that's 50% off, great savings. The link to get this, guys, in the description of the video. <clears throat> no, I could not, Ramona. I, I just could not do it. Okay. I feel like I need a stool. Okay, so let me tell you about my mom. And I'm not meaning this in a negative way. So, mom, if you're watching, hey, girl, listen. <laughs> so, my mom has met this new man, y'all. I'm so happy for her. She so deserves to be happy. And she's been through, you know, literally hell and back. So, I'm glad that she's found somebody. So, this guy, his name is Keith. You know, hey, Keith. He lives on 400 acres. And he loves the outdoors. He loves to hunt. He likes to shoot. He likes to dig. He likes to, you know, do dip and dig, you know, whatever he wants to do. And so my mom loves that too. She's an outdoor person, you know, but so she has literally, she, I went over to her office yesterday to see her. I needed to get my laptop. And she was like, let me tell you what we did last night. So my mother now has turned into Laura Ingalls and she is literally out in the woods with the camo on. She said, I just went to Academy. She was so excited. I just went to Academy. Um, I just got some new, uh, snake boots and she was mean like snake boots like the rubber boots that go up to your knees so you don't get snakes on you and I thought this is about how excited I get for a hot dog you know and she's so excited about these boots and she's been out in the woods honey she's been shooting and she has been learning how to kill the hogs and the boar and she's been deer hunting and I'm like who are you Jane I mean this is like uh, you know Tarzan and Jane and uh, she's been doing all of this stuff cooking all this to me I said girl what are you doing I called her the night I said girl what are you doing I said, are you in here eating by candlelight? I said, because you're acting just like Laura Eagles. But she loves it. So she's been watching the boar. She gets in the deer feeder every night. She watches for him. She has cameras out there. And she says, Dylan, I know what I want for Christmas. And I was thinking, what, like a massage, you know, a pedicure or something. I've always got her. She says, no, I want the Bass Pro. And I want these $300 night vision binoculars. I'm like, who have you become? Like, what are you talking about binoculars? And uh, I said, I'll get you some bifocals. And she says, no, I want some binoculars. And so she says, I gotta get up in the stand and I gotta see the um, the deer and the boar. And this just made her day. So she's turned into an episode of freaking Charlotte's Web. <laughs> I mean, she's got uh, the deer down there. She's got Wilbur down there. I mean, it's like going to the zoo over there. 
So she keeps saying, you've got to come see me, but, you know, I'm not trying to sit out there and get Zika virus <laughs> or West Nile. It's not for me. But she loves it, and I'm so happy. They sit out there every night. They go hunting and have all kinds of stuff. So, yes, my mom has moved on, honey, to her new life. She's doing the most. She's having the best time. So, um, yeah, so she's hunting. The only way I'm hunting is if it's, you know, maybe a Dillard's <laughs> hunting for a shirt. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be hunting in the woods. Hey, Donna, what's up? I know, so she's so happy. She's living her best life. So am I in air conditioning <laughs> with the locusts. <laughs> but that's another reason. How am I supposed to go out in the woods? I can't even sit in my own couch without getting attacked by a bug. I can't be out in the woods, honey. Can't do it. Yes, Mandy, she is awesome. Okay, so we are actually going to be doing a fall arrangement today. <laughs> Got a little sidetracked. We're going to be using this fabulous truck. Don't forget, 40 bucks is the item of the week. So I have my uh, styrofoam in there, my moss, and everything like that. Yes. So, guys, I always give her a hard time now. So, when I see her, I always make jokes and stuff. But, really, I am happy for her. Um, you know. But, literally, I will only be hunting in Dillard's. I can't, um, can't do it. Oh, I can't be living on the wild side. Mm -mm. Timmy says, hunt is like watching golf tournament. Boring. Dana, absolutely not. Do you be frog less, Dana? Mm -mm. No. I eat chicken legs, <laughs> you know, <laughs> chicken fingers, but I don't eat no frog legs. Mm. One okay. more has a t-shirt. It's got a chicken leg on it. It says leg day on it. Yeah, that's going to be me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take this bush, guys, and I'm going to alternate it to create to create my arrangement here in the back of my truck. We put that foam in there to keep everything on or in place. Thanks, Maria. Girl, I never have a dull moment. <clears throat> It's been quite um, relaxing at house by myself, but you know, it gets a little scary sometimes too. Oh, Anita, maybe I should do that for, um, maybe for Halloween this year, guys, I should wear camo up here. I could be a hunter. I told mom all she needs is some hound dogs. She could be where the red fern grows. Hey, Jan, how are you? Hey, Lisa Kellen, how are you, my friend? Okay, so we're just alternating our stems back here in the back of the base of the truck to get us a great little thing going on. Julie, I'm always down for a wine day. Do you like wine, Nina? Mm-hmm. So we could all have a wine day. Maybe we could do wine and go to the zoo or something. Speaking of animals. Tanya wants to know what's in the cup. You'll never know. <laughs> That's my secret. <clears throat> no, it's Dr. Pepper. I don't know if they just said we think it was chicken, Dina. Mm, maybe a different ranch, you know, ranch changes everything. But I don't know. Deanna says Mandy and her are coming to see you. When are you coming? Somebody said the 27th earlier. Oh, when I go to Decorated Warehouse? Hey, Maria, how are ya? Oh no, Lisa, I'm so sad. Look, people are already saying it's Dr. Pepper. They know. I mean, you know, every morning. Hey, Debbie. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart. I was going to tell you all something else for a sec. Forgot what it was. Forgot what it was. I did try something, though, y'all. Y'all are going to love it. Okay? And you're probably going to say, Dylan, that's not even real seafood. Y'all don't do seafood to have a phobia. You know? The, the texture, the smell, the look, the taste. Okay. So, Tanya said it should be one. Uh, well, happy early birthday to her, Lisa. Hey, uh, Deborah, how are you? Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, seafood. So I have a phobia, guys, on seafood, so I don't really eat it. Well, I don't eat it. But y'all gonna be, y'all ready? I actually tried some fried calamari, and it was not bad. You know, I dunked her in ranch. And they even had marinara sauce, which I thought was kind of strange. But I dipped it in both of those, and it was actually pretty good. Have you ever tried that? Mm -mm. It sounds disgusting, but no one told me. They told me it was a chicken nugget. So I, <laughs> I was like, oh, I love chicken nuggets, you know. I'm like, you know, shout out to Tyson. So I uh, got one, and it was good. So you know what? Look at me changing. Um, I tried something I, I wouldn't normally do. Do you like seafood? Mm -hmm. We talked about this. You do. You like, I've heard that fresh lobster is amazing. I, I don't do, uh-uh. I do shrimp and scallops. So it's you're like fried. the kid version. Okay. It's got to be fried. So Dina likes fish sticks, okay, and, and uh, hush puppies. 
No, it can be rubbery, but it what? <laughs> Stacy throwing up. Uh, it can be rubbery, but, but it's not. It wasn't the one I got. And y'all don't ruin this for me, okay? I tried something new, but I'm not gonna go order a, a order for myself. You know, I just thought I would try something a little different. Oh God, Debbie, no! She said, "Why'd you get tentacle?" Tentacle? What is this? What in the jellyfish is going on? I don't want any tentacles. Oh, Donna. My mom eats those things of oysters. Have you ever had those sucking them out of the shell? Girl, I, I would do that them. and I'd pass out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Bye, Mary. Have a great day. And you know, I've always heard that fresh seafood, of course, should not uh, taste fishy or smell fishy, but that's why I can't go and rear lobster. They got them freaking fish tanks at the front with the lobster and the whole place smells like that. Why would I want to sit in there and eat like that? I would go to Petco if I wanted to do that. Ugh, everybody likes seafood. It's okay, you know, everybody likes their own thing. I'm all for it. Ooh, I just can't do it. Oh, I need a Tic Tac. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing, guys, is just filling in the back of my truck. I'm just kind of rotating it around to make sure everything is evenly placed on here. By the way, you know, when I come up here on Tuesdays, I don't always have a lot of time to look around. But this morning I came a little early because I need to catch up with gossip. And they have got some awesome Christmas stuff that's already coming to the door. Wait till y'all see this red tree that they have. Honey, it's fabulous. You better cop down here and see it. But they got some cute ornaments so far. They got a little bit of floral. What else do you have out there? Some uh, shelf sitters, some support pieces. It's coming in slowly but surely, but the stuff that they've got in is awesome. Did you see those black and white or black and red ornaments, the boxes? Yes. Those are cute, yeah. On that black, on the red tree, can you imagine? Tracy, I, I hear you. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Okay, so now that we kind of have everything balanced, here's what it looks like from the top. We're going to add in another bush to kind of just help fill in, you know. Um, another replication, if you don't have what I'm going to use today, which you can purchase on the website, along with everything, ellishomeandgarden.com. You could use like maidenhair fern, you could use some fall leaves, anything like that that's larger in size you can use to kind of fill in your arrangement. Marianne, are the fall picks on sale? I think they are. I think they're 25 off, maybe? I don't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think that they are. Hey, Josie, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this apart real quick. While I'm doing this, guys, don't forget. So, you know, you can find me on Facebook anytime at Designs by Dylan. And it's Dylan is D-Y-L-E-N. But I also have a monthly design group, Dylan's Divas. So it's $19.99 per month. You can cancel any time. I give you two to three live videos per week that are exclusive to my group members only. And um, one uh, produced recorded tutorial per month. And this month it happened to be a black and white fall wreath. So if you guys are interested in becoming a diva, head over to DylanPalmerDesigns.com and you can sign up there. We would love to have you. I have lots of my divas watching now. Tamara wants a tour. We can do a tour. We haven't done one of those in a while, have we, Dina? We haven't done one of them. Okay, we can do a tour. I'll do it for you guys, okay? A tour's dangerous, though, because then I start looking at stuff I shouldn't see, like, and I'd buy it, you know? Ooh. Prayers go up to your brother, Donna. Definitely, Donna. We will keep our prayers with you. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, Deanna, I like any type of cab, Cabernet. Or I do like uh, Pinot, too. Pinot Noir. Diva in the house, Janet and Mary. Oh, awesome. Marsha bought the wreath. So she bought the wreath that I actually made for the, the group. Okay, so now I'm going to go through. I'm cutting this in smaller pieces to kind of help fill in back here at the back of the truck. in to get the perfect fullness around the whole entire thing. Again, if you don't have what I'm using here, you can purchase it at ellishomeandgarden.com, but you can also use something similar such as maidenhair fern or something like that. So I'm just rotating this around. I'm cutting these longer pieces in half so I have something a little bit more uh, in scale with what we're doing. Um, Deanna, let's see. Y'all are going to make fun, okay, so no judgment, okay? I love me a black box, okay? My favorite. At Walmart, you can get about $17.99, $18.99. You know what that is? Oh, they're fabulous, guys. It's four bottles in there, so I can drink that for one day. And uh, I love it. 
I also like my favorite wine ever. It's expensive. So I only get this like on a very rare occasion. It's like 50 bucks the bottle. It's called Prisoner. It's amazing. So if you guys are wine lovers and you like to spend or invest a little bit of money in it, get that for a special occasion. I like Apothic. It's like 10 bucks. I love Robert Mandavi. Um, you can buy that at Sam's or at Walmart. Um, so those are some of my favorites if you were to get like a bottle. Hey, Lindy Lou. Haven't seen you in a minute, girl. How are you? Okay, so I'm just filling in all the way around. And we're getting a great little filler down here on the truck. Dumpling wine, I haven't heard of that. Okay guys, let me read this comment just a sec. That's a great idea, Kathy. So what Kathy's saying, guys, is that she loves um, using the red truck for different occasions like I was talking about. And if you don't want to um, keep it permanent, you can actually, instead of gluing your foam down, you can use, um, it's like a sticky, like almost like sticky tack, but it's called this molding clay. You can purchase it mainly in any floral supply store. You can use that, it'll stick, it's like an adhesive. It'll stick to the bottom of the truck so you can just pop it out and it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that in the bottom. Okay. You just woke up, girl? Oh, thanks, Rosario. Okay, so I'm just going to continue filling in. Stephanie went to the Madalvi Winery in California. Stephanie, I bet it was amazing. Hey, Connie, glad you're here, too. Oh, Duplin. I think I've seen that. I think I've seen that wine also. So I'm going to go through now with these smaller pieces that came off of my bush and just fill in with these as well. So look around where you have some spaces or holes and you can fill in with these also. Trader Joe's two buck chuck. Is that wine also? I don't have a Trader Joe's here. I have to go to Dallas for that. Yes, I own it. So you guys can incorporate dryads extremely easy with fall. Because, you know, they're dry and most of the colors match the theme. So if you guys are a lover of, of dryads, which I am, you can definitely incorporate them easily with the fall stuff. All right, guys. Well, that about wraps up the truck. So let me show you up close. Here's what it looks like from the top. No ribbon. No, we're not going to use any ribbon today. I think that we've got just enough in here. But I use that filler in there to go in between all of my florals. Here's what it looks like from the front. So this can be used as a centerpiece. You can see it from all sides. And look, these truck, these truck wheels actually move. Mm-hmm, what are you doing? I put her back in drive. So again, that's just an idea of how you can decorate the back of the truck. Don't forget guys, you can find any of these materials um, at ellishomeandgarden.com. The item of the week is the truck. It's on sale for 40 bucks, and you can get that on the website. The link to it is in the description, actually, um, of the video today. So you can locate all of that stuff on there. Okay. Who's ready for a tour? Uh, let me scroll down just a sec. Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. Glenn's you asking about the Mr. Rogers movie. Who did? Gwen. Real, real quick. Let's get Dana back on the ground. Okay, real quick, guys. If you have not seen already, there is a trailer out for the new Mr. Robert Rogers movie. It's called It's a Wonderful Day in the Neighborhood. Tom Hanks could not be any more perfect, guys. If you haven't seen the trailer, go to YouTube. Check it out. But he's perfect. I mean, I cannot wait. I know that movie's going to make a ton of money. Um, one of my favorite Tom Hanks movies is um, Sully. Have you seen that? So good. Love it. Okay, guys, let's go on a tour, honey, okay? Now, don't look at this body too close. You gonna leave it on the stand? <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't trip over the legs, and I'll laugh. <clears throat> okay, guys, let's start with the trees, because that's what I've been excited about. Oh, this is new, suntan. <laughs> so, guys, Ellis gets in fabulous trees. I'm not just saying that because I've worked here for so long, but they have awesome trees, great quality, and different sizes. So let me show you what they have. It's like not any difference from in that room and out yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. So of course they have some green trees. Now look, 
they find the tree they like the most. Like this is called a Gatlinburg Fool and they have it in multiple sizes. So 12 foot, 10 foot, 9 foot, and seven and a half foot. Most of these come with color changing lights on them. So therefore they'll change between colored and clear. And you can also pick one permanently, okay? Now, who likes flocked? I'm excited because not only do they have white flock this year, but let me tell you a story real quick. So it's been, let's see, in 2010, I started working here. In 2009, Ellis had these trees. They had a red tree, a lime tree, a black one, and a hot pink one. And they all had the same colored lights that they did the tips. For 10 years now, I've been dying for them to get these trees back and they haven't, but they got a red one again this year. Just before I even show you this tree, imagine it with black, glittery black decorations, silver and white. You could also do a peppermint theme, all of that stuff. So y'all can check it out. We have white ones and we have red ones. Hi, Mark. Hey. So the flock trees, guys, they come in nine foot and seven and a half foot. There's two different types. There's one with a, a down sweat branch on it and there's one that's a little bit lighter flock. This one happens to be my favorite because they don't have them plugged in there if they're still working on them, but they have these C7 bulbs on there, which really makes an impact on the tree. So we have the flock one. Now y'all look at this freaking red one. Let's take a poll. Just say yes or no. Yes if you like it, no if you don't. So here's the red flock tree. I'll have Dina get up close and show you. It's actually red tips that they've actually flocked, just like the white branches. But look, it's got the red mini lights and then the red big bulbs on there as well, the old fashioned ones. Seven and a half foot tall, 100, uh, 1,284 tips, and it's 66 inches at the bottom. It's only 435, it's 50% off already. But just imagine this, guys, with um, black decor, white decor, silver. You could also use a peppermint theme. So y'all leave a comment. Just say yes or no if you like it, no if you don't. What are they saying? So far, a lot of yeses, a couple of noes. It's not, listen, I'm, I'm all about traditional Christmas decor, but sometimes there's those things that I love that's really gonna make a statement in your home or your business, and it's something different, something that people will remember. And so that's why I like it. It's not traditional or standard. It's not a green tree, of course. But I think it's fun and I love it. And so I'm going to buy one of these. So you'll see it in my house for sure um, in my decor. I cannot wait. Donna says cardinal theme. Yes, cardinal. You could use it for all kinds of stuff. So we have the red flock. And then, of course, I'll have Dina show you again all the white flock as well. It's super fun and whimsical. And let me show you an ornament. Speaking of the red tree, an ornament that you could actually put on there. That's kind of easier, isn't it, than doing yeah. that, I think? Until I kick it. Yeah, until you kick it. Look at these guys. Just imagine these on that red tree. These are new this year. We didn't have them last year. And there's all this stuff. This would be fun on there as well, the red and the green. These little guys. Oh, look, they're breakable, Dylan. Get away from there. There's the black and white. Oh, these went so quick last year, guys. You might want to get on there and get those soon. And a lot of this stuff will be uploaded to online pretty soon. It's just not yet. It's still kind of early. Check out the snowman. So these are new this year. Well, obviously not like that. Oh, you gotta put batteries in her. Well, those light up. And these we've had before. These are fun. Great shelf sitters and support pieces you could put around your house, next to your tree, next to your mantle. Whatever you want to do, those are great also. Champagne was a really big seller last year, so we have a big selection. Look at all of this this champagne stuff. You could put this as accent pieces. So if you have a big theme, such, such, such a champagne on your mantle, a wreath, front door, your tree, you could put any of this stuff beside it to really just, you know, enhance your look. There's snowman, Santa's, angels. Those nutcrackers are one of my faves. And I love the different nativities. And you could actually pair these angels with the few nativity scenes, and those would be awesome. Those are new, aren't they? I think okay. we had those last year. Copper kind. These are new on the bottom now. I don't remember those. This is more traditional. Love the glitter on there. He's cute. Let's see. Um, this is all new too. We didn't have this last year. So these are new with the larger glitter on there. I love this guy. And they also have them down here with the snowman. Oh look. Speaking of cardinals, she's got one on her head. So that's new. Now. We got this new truck. Oh yeah, and those are brighter. I feel like those weren't as bright last year. <laughs> this is new. You know the red trucks are gonna be big again. So those are a couple of the ornaments that 
they have. Um, look at this. Y'all know I love lanterns, first of all. How freaking cute. I always say to all my customers, if you're looking for a way to really enhance your home or carry out the Christmas spirit or your theme throughout your whole house, pillows are easy. They're inexpensive and you can prop those anywhere. So these are fun. Hey Santa, ho ho ho. Uh, hope you've been a good boy. Uh, love him. This is, I think we've had this before, but I love the flannel look to it. Mm. Easy to incorporate with your lodge. Okay, this is me. Oh, Ooh, she took a tumble, hold on. This is new right here. Look guys, it lights up. It's this lantern and it's already got a little bit of decor at the top and it's got the lights mixed in with the scene inside. This is also new right here, these lanterns. These are lightweight. So the thing I would like to do with these is incorporate these into a Christmas tree. You could put them on the branches. I mean, nest those in. It'd be great for a lodge theme. So these are new right here. Of course, the, the buffalo plaid is really popular. It's coming back bigger than ever as well. Oh, look at these, Dan. Okay, now listen, I ain't gonna lie. They look like my poodle's haircut with the pom-poms at the bottom. But look how cute that deer is, honey. She is elegant and fancy. How are you? Love that. These are new right here. Oh, I like those. Little farmhouse guys, love that. Got the snow embellishments all in there. So those are fun. Look at these little deer heads. Those are new with the glitter on top and the antlers. So those are fun. Oh, I don't see a lot more champagne over here. Let's see. So down here you'll see lots more champagne, everything you can mix in with those things. I love these little owls. These Christmas ones are already 40% off. So this would be uh, $11.99. You can take these Christmas ones that are already on sale and incorporate them into your fall decor. So these would be great on a fall tree or a wreath. Um, Hood owls are really popular and I see them everywhere. Patty says she just booked her winter vacation at Dollywood. I'm so jealous. Me and Josh are going to try, and Morgan are going to try to go to Orlando. So I can't wait to check that out. Well, guys, that's just a few of the things that they have out. I'm sure they have a little bit more, but as they progress and as they get more and more things in stock, I'll be sure to come on here every once in a while when I do the videos on Tuesdays, give you guys a sneak peek. Of course, they're going to upload the things that they get in stock as quick as they can to online. So bear with us. Um, any questions or comments you guys had about today's video, drop those down below or shoot a message and we'll be glad to help you in any way that we can. Don't forget our item of the week was the red truck. It's 40 bucks online only this week. Um, the link is in the description of the video to the, to the truck itself. So I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I had a great time today and we will see you next Tuesday. Merry Christmas guys. Bye. Bye.